everybody, John Wagnon here with DevCentral. And in this video, we're gonna talk about securing customer identity. And specifically, we're gonna talk about how Shape can help protect Okta's Customer Identity and Access Management, or CIAM, solution against credential stuffing attacks and other malicious type bot automated attacks. Uh, so, so kind of to set the stage here, I wanna mention that Okta is a leader in identity and access management and Shape is a leader in bot and automated attack protection. Um, and I wanted to mention too, these CIAM, these Identity Access Management uh, pages, are very typically exposed to the internet and they can easily become the target of these attackers with you know, credential stuffing attacks and other malicious automated attacks, right? So I wanna draw a picture here of how this whole solution would work. So on one hand over here, you have users and you have a lot of different users, you know, coming to access your applications, um, but you also have attackers. So I'm just gonna put, you know, kind of both represented here, right? Attackers and legitimate users. And then over here on this end, uh, you have your, I'll just put, you know, apps, right? That uh, maybe you have a, a bunch of these things, right? So you've got users that wanna access your applications. You've got attackers that are looking to attack those applications, right? And so the way that this process, the way that the solution is built is that shape is uh, introduced first into the equation, or that would be the first uh, stopping point, if you will. And then Okta would also be here. So there's Okta and there's shape. So shape provides that bot protection. Um, and then Okta provides that identity and access management solution. So as legitimate users come in or attackers come in, I'll just draw kind of a, uh, kind of a, a flow chart of sorts here. Shape is gonna check and see, is this request or is this user a bot or not? And so I'll just put the little you know, diamond around here. And if the answer is no, this is not a bot. So if it's a no, then it comes on through to the Okta portion. If it's a, if it's a yes, then we block that user, right? Or Shape would automatically block that user. I wanna mention something here really quick. Um, over the course of time, Shape has, um, has, has looked at statistics on users and attackers that typically uh, you know, would, would look to access applications. And what they have found it, is that sign-on attempts uh, you know, for these CIAM type pages, these identity access management, like logon type pages, they have found that typically 92%, so I'm gonna put a 92%, 92% of the traffic coming to those types of pages are automated bot attack traffic, right? Uh, which leaves, of course, 8%, so I'll just put an eight right there as the legitimate user um, you know, requests. So what that means is that if Shape, or when Shape, I should say, when Shape blocks the bot traffic, then 92% of the traffic is stopped right here at the Shape uh, you know, layer. Um, and so that means only 8% of the full traffic makes it back to Okta, which means that at this point, I'm just gonna put a little 100% right here. Um, you know, these are actual human, uh, human users, right? And so then that obviously allows Okta to not be bogged down with a bunch of bot traffic. All right, so, and then right here, what Okta is gonna check is, are you an authorized, uh, you know, user? So I'll just put auth user, right? And then I'll put the little, you know, diamond around that. And so these, these human users are gonna come in uh, once they pass through the bot uh, check from Shape, and then they're going to hit the Okta checks, and then Okta's gonna say, hey, are you an authorized user or not? And if the answer is yes, then they gain access to the applications, and if the answer is no, then Okta would block that, all right? Okta um, has the capability as well, once, once these legitimate human users come through, they have the capability, kind of that next layer, if you will, that next level of protection. They can look at things like user logon history, um, and they can check that across multiple Okta pages, you know, that they would manage, of course. Um, and then they can block malicious users. So these would not be, this would not be bot traffic that they're looking at, but rather legitimate users, but these legitimate uh, users are actually malicious humans, right? So they, can, so they can put that added layer of protection there at the Okta level. All right, uh, so um, if the legitimate user comes through, makes it through the shape checks, and they're not a bot, and then they get authenticated here at Okta, then they make it back to the application, right? And so, uh, so then that's the way that this solution is put together. 
uh, and then that allows only legitimate human authenticated authorized users to access the applications, which is exactly what you want, right? Um, so the, uh, I, I'll mention one last thing here. It's important to note that multi-factor authentication uh, could cause significant friction for these legitimate users. And so shape removes the malicious automated traffic without causing any kind of friction for these legitimate returning users, right? Um, and so without, if you didn't have shape in line here, if you didn't have shape as part of this solution, then it would cause a lot of multi-factor authentication, uh, you know, uh, requests or, or checks, I should say. And then that would result in a significant uh, negative impact to the customer experience, right? Um, I'll also note that fraudsters or attackers continue to retool, they, they disguise themselves as humans, so they want to look as human as possible, uh, but that's where Shape comes in, and Shape's ability to spot automations without impacting the user experience is critical uh, to securing the customer identity, again, because only legitimate uh, human traffic is going to be able to come in to even hit this authentication piece. All right, so now with Shape and Okta, you can have a secure CIAM solution that accelerates your digital business. So thanks for watching this Lightboard lesson with us today. If you like this thing, you can click up here on our DevCentral logo and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we'll see you guys out there in the community.